people think that all of the technology today happens in a place like Silicon Valley. Well, it also happens in places like Hoover, Alabama. Innovation and technology really drive economic development. Projects like the Smart Neighborhood fit in well with the entrepreneurship and innovation that's already happening in Birmingham. Alabama Power has a, a long history of innovation. This is one of those top projects that is uh, clearly cutting edge. You know, it's the first of its kind to integrate all of the components, the microgrid, the connected homes, and high performance uh, construction together. The Smart Neighborhood microgrid consists of three major components. We've got the solar PV, which you can see here behind us. We've got a natural gas engine, and we've got a lithium ion battery system. These three components together are about a megawatt of power and that gives us flexibility in supplying power to the neighborhood. But it also has a cutting edge feature where it can interact and communicate with the HVAC systems and the water heaters that are in these 62 homes. We can control this entire house from our phone with the appliances that Alabama Power installed. The home is really set up to make you consciously think about how much energy am I using, how much water am I using, what are things that I can do to really make my energy footprint a lot less. And what makes it unique is not that we're using solar or that we're using batteries or that we're controlling customer loads. It's really the combination of all these different aspects. But we're really trying to integrate all of these things together and to look at them at scale in order to understand how things may operate in the future. You know, we had the vision to be able to see how neighborhoods of the future function, but we enlisted the help of Signature Homes who built the homes. The Oak Ridge National Laboratory who gave us a lot of good insight in the communication features behind the microgrid. At the Department of Energy, we're focused on early stage research and development, and, uh, and that's critical. However, uh, you know, we have 17 national labs, they produce all these wonderful ideas, but if ideas stay in the, only in the lab, we're not doing our job. That those ideas need to get into the real world. Other cities will be able to look at what we've done here in Hoover with this smart neighborhood and see how it conserves energy, it's clean, it's smart, it's the way we want to do things in the future. So I look for us to be a model for cities all throughout the country. And there's, there's dramatic changes undergoing with the electricity grid. And one of the questions for the future is, what does this grid of the future look like? To have not only the generation and consumption right next to each other, like, like we have here. And one of the great things is that this can be applied anywhere really in the United States to have more resilient, more reliable electricity grid. What we would like to see at the Department of Energy is for America to be a, a leader in energy as well as a leader in how we use energy.